Hello everyone, good day unto you. What does it mean? What's the real truth behind taking God's name in vain? Let's see. What the Bible, the Word of God says about it. Right here in Proverbs chapter 30, over here at verse 7, it says, Two things have I required of thee. Deny me them not before I die. Remove far from me vanity and lies. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with food convenient for me, lest I be full and deny thee, and say, Who is the Lord Jehovah? Or lest I be poor and still, and take the name of my God in vain. Also, we know in the commandment that it says, Lord God will not hold them guiltless who takes his name in vain. See some more. So what is he saying to us there? That if we know the commandment and we go against it, then we're taking God's name in vain. Just like knowing not to steal and we steal anyway, that's taking God's name in vain. Also, that can relate to all ten commandments, even the Sabbath commandment. If we know it and we don't keep it, then we're taking God's name in vain. He said he will not hold them guiltless who takes his name in vain. We're right here in 1 John chapter 2, uh, verse 4. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whosoever keepeth his word, in him verily is the love of God perfected. Hereby we know that we are in him. He that saith, I abide in him, I himself also to walk even as he walked. So, he that says, I know him and keeps not his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. So we need to walk in truth. That's the spirit, spirit of truth. We're right here in St. John chapter 14, down here at verse 15, what did Joshua say about it? If you love me, keep my commandments. He's the one who gave those commandments. So he's telling us if we love him, we can prove our love to him by keeping his commandments. It includes all ten of them, even the Sabbath day. And the churches, they're saying it's done away with. The question is, will there be any liars in heaven? Let's see. Right here in Revelations chapter 21, down here, verse 7 and 8. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son and daughters. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. All liars. So brothers and sisters, we see that just saying God damn is not taking God's name in vain. It's knowing his word and rejecting it and doing the opposite. We're worshiping the lie. And we know the commandment of God, all ten of them, and we don't obey it then we take the name of the Lord Jehovah, our Creator, in vain. Let us not do that. Let us walk in the truth. The Spirit of Truth makes us free from all the lies of this world. And we shall inherit the kingdom, the reward promised unto all the faithful, who fight the good fight of faith and lay hold of eternal life. We're just this side of eternity. Hallelujah. It's knocking at the door. Let us be ready. It's coming soon. Malik Zedek the King of Righteousness. Shalom. Y'all have a blessed day. Amen. Oh yeah, and if you want to know where the word God damn from is coming from, it's in Mark chapter 16. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. That's what the Messiah said. The King. Hallelujah. Who's he going to be damned by? God. That word damn means they will have to stand in the judgment and it'll be against them. So, Shalom. God bless y'all. Yahweh Yahushua, our God and Savior. Have a great day. Peace be with you.